So, you're, you're holding my microphone. Are you supposed to hold the microphone? I'm supposed to hold the microphone. Well, I can hold the microphone. It's fine. Sure, hold the microphone. Well, first of all, I love Marfa. Absolutely love Marfa. I was raised in Texas and didn't appreciate Texas until I came to Marfa. How do you like Marfa compared to New York? I, I love it <laughs> so much. So you're ready to move down here? Yeah, yeah. I uh, picked up a real estate guy, so I'm going to look through it. Really? Yeah. You're, you're serious. I'm, yeah, I'm serious. That's fantastic. So, so yeah. Marfa lives up to its hype, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. You have been in Marfa for three hours. Yes. What do you think of Marfa? Um, first impressions. First impressions, the sky is way bigger and bright. I like that a lot. Um, and the weather's much cooler than Houston, and I like that. And the people are lovely. They are. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do in Marfa? There's just a spirit here. There's just a whole collective spirit. Um, there's just a, um, it's like another, it's, it's honestly really kind of like the Twilight Zone. The town seems to work like a experimental space where a lot can happen. I think I really like the hammock settle Cosmico. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing nothing. Marfa is kind of an escape, so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We were commenting that it's only in Marfa that you start to gain more time time to do things or time to, time to do nothing uh, -huh. <laughs> uh you know it's the it's as much about the people and seeing the same people every year and, and enjoying the camaraderie as it is about seeing the art my favorite thing to do in marfa i love to order tacos at boys to men i would say food shark yeah we're definitely food shark loyal to loyal, yeah. loyal to yeah. falafel yes, yes. marfa falafel forever marfa falafel <laughs> forever exactly. would donald judd have eaten a marfa falafel did he eat? If you could describe Marfa in three words. Magical. Magical. Um, a portal into culture. And absolutely mystifying. Refreshing. Bright. Uh, pretty chill. Well, that's two. The hyphenate that. How is Chinati Weekend different than non Chinati Weekend? More people. Yeah, more people, more activities. <laughs> Free art. Um, it's really kind of our our alternative to the um, the art fair scene, which, you know, I know that really rules the art world right now, but I just, I don't like them. Looking at art, I wanted to see some artwork with my friends, and then we're doing a pop-up right now of some design goods. This yes. is your work? Yes. Some so, of my work. Some of your work. Yes. Right. This was a, this was a big weekend for Chinati Weekend because there are some things in the building behind us. There are. There's some amazing sculptures that were done, we think, 20 years ago? I know no, they, no, ha they haven't 40? been on view for 30 years 30 at years, least. yeah. So, so before They're the very then. first time I've ever seen them. And... Um, they're two sets of works, and they look like they're stainless steel that have been sanded and immaculately made. By Donald Judd. By Donald Judd. And they're, they're quite atypical for Donald Judd, so um, I think it's really sort of revolutionary to see them. It's a great opportunity to come to Marva, Texas. Yeah. And see amazing Judd works. See Judd works that no one has seen for 30 years. Yes. So, Brandon, what's your favorite piece of art in Marva? You know, I'm going to go weird and say the Chamberlains, or one of the Chamberlains, maybe the black Chamberlain, the all-black tall Chamberlain in the Chamberlain room is pretty special. Go see the Chamberlains, it's special. I cry when I have to go back home. Like, I have tears in my eyes. I don't want to go back home. I just really want to say that I really appreciate Marfa, and it's kind of changed my life. It's kind of been like salvation. That's great. Yeah, inviting Marfa into my heart.